Bird, there's Camille, there's Jewel Lloyd, of course, Brianna Stewart at 325, and then way up there in the rafters, way up there is this lady right here, Lauren Jackson, 624 assisted by Sue Bird, and it is so great to see the Storm all-time great Lauren Jackson. Lauren, welcome back to Seattle. Yeah. What's it been like? Tell us what you've been doing and how long you've been here. Okay, I've been here uh, one day. And oh, it's, man. Yeah, it's been incredible. Bit of a stroll down memory lane, for sure, but um, what an amazing arena. This is incredible. Oh, Lauren, I just, first I want to thank you for all the wonderful memories that I have of watching you just absolutely dominate and be an intimidator. I mean, I have so many fond memories and felt so lucky to call your games. And now you've got two boys and, and you've kind of moved on to a different chapter. I have. Tell us about what you're doing. With, and you're also making a comeback. you got a lot going on in your world, Lauren. Uh, look, it's, it's fun just to be out playing again. But, yeah, I think um, the kids have just... It's been the highlight of my life, and yeah, the, the boys are incredible. I'm definitely a boy mom, but um, it's <laughs> magic. Yeah, life is good. So yeah. talk about the basketball comeback, because you haven't given up the game. You're still playing, <laughs> so uh, tell us what's next in, in your comeback. Well, I've been in New York training with the Australian team, so I find out in the next couple of days if I, um, yeah, if I'm going to make like the World Cup, which is the most bizarre experience for me. I never thought I would get back to this point, or you know, um, any of it really. Uh, so. Yeah, who knows? I don't know where it's going to take me. Well, I'm going to say you probably shouldn't be too stressed out about that. I, I think Australia may think you're worthy of a roster <laughs> spot, know. Lauren. No, I don't know. I, like, honestly, I don't know. But either way, it's just been so much fun, and I never expected to get back out on court at all. And, um, yeah, just to have the opportunity has been amazing. Oh, I've been watching your Australian highlights of you getting back into it, <laughs> and you look amazing. I mean, you're 41, and I you're know. out there, and you're moving great despite all these terrible injuries that you suffered as a player, who, by the way, so much love for you for working through them so we could watch you with fractured back and all these things that you went through you, you i don't know if you've seen some of these seattle highlights to to bring you back memory lane but what, what goes through your mind when you remember how dominant you were here i don't know i um you know i really enjoyed it i had a great time and i think it was more about the journey and the friendships and the the people that um you know i played with i you know, I don't, like, remember being that dominant, but I do know I had the best time over here, and it was just an incredible time in my life. Well, before we let you go, we got to ask you about Sue. This yeah. is uh, this is a day for Sylvia, Brian tonight, but certainly Sunday is going to be a night for Sue Bird. How do you put into words your relationship with her? Sue is still someone I call upon um, when I need words of wisdom, when I need just a little bit of, you know, of analytical kind of support and she's just an incredible human being i mean i think what she's done for the sport is amazing but i think for me as a friend she's just been everything so well lauren it is fantastic to see you and have a wonderful time back in your second home of Thank seattle you. You bet. <laughs> lauren and jackson one of the all-time greats there's a title shot right there and seattle playing like a